I love Tapaz AI gigapixel to upscale images, but problem is I want to use the inside Comf UI and I cannot find Node, so I end up writing my own. And in this video, I want to share with you with this Node, you can download it and use it for free, of course. And if you're my Patreon subscriber, you can download it with uh, way more files if you need it, so you can test and work. Well, let's begin. First, let's say the problem to working with the Tapaz. Tapaz Gigapixel AI is a great application, but they have two versions. They have it versions professional, which is very expensive, and a normal professional other version, which I use it and can afford that version. But the difference is to work directly from Comfy UI and using API and CLI, then I need professional version. So because I don't have it, I wrote the um, node that will work with two versions. So I will explain you how one version work and how other ones. So let's start with a professional version. Right here, it's a very simple workflow. It will be available for you in download and all install package, which will show in a, later to the end how to install it, where you get it and all that stuff. But right here, we just create simple image. Doesn't matter, you can preload the image if you want it. You can create how you want it. This is just using SDXL to create our test image. Here's our image as we're creating. So you can preview it, just nice landscape. So this is where magic happening, and this is a Topaz upscaler with fallback. And the reason is why fallback, because it's tried to access a CLI's professional version, and if it does not work, then it's open. UI and try to do through the UI. Okay, so some of this, because of this, most of the settings, they will work only for CLI. For um, other versions, it's okay, they will just ignore it, but you can change them inside the application. Uh, a couple things for you will be matter. It is software right here. You can see it's set after, so it will detect if you have a gigapixel CLI, GUI, or photo AI. So it will work with any of those. Uh, applications if they install it and also as we have a path this is showing what image created down below it just upscale if you want to compare right here it's comparison another node very simple node uh, wrote so it can compare your um, image just created uh, the comparison work if you're using with a CLI if you're using the other version then it will just save depend on the folder and this is will look exactly the same but i just left here in case you have cli so you can compare them uh, kind of nice how it does and of course this is give you output right here on info and this is neat because it's showing you path ways actually save your generated file that's generate i mean after gigapixel process and the reason is Comfy UI by itself, it's kind of encapsulated in one area and cannot write out of its own designated area. So and because Gigapixel work kind of as external applications, it will save in different place. You can always specify. For me, it just save right here, so I know where I can find. And as well as you're running, you can see right here, GUI launching because it did not find. CLI error because no pro license. They just give you additional information about what you needed. Okay, and of course, same like just general information for you to look up what is going on there. I create this node for myself, and it was like a work in progress. You know, I uh, want to use it Gigapixel, so I wrote for this. It's not not like for the public I did it or for sale, so. I did run several times uh, through the AIs to clean up node, readjust, you know, naming properly all the stuff. So it it's look okay, but if you want to contribute it more than welcome, download it, change, share, more than welcome to do with this node, and hopefully it will help you. So let's see how it's work. First, of course, we're going, can we say run application? You'll notice it will just preloaded our model what we're using generating our image right here we should have it our image created and as soon as a generated image like this it's a going and open ui again i don't have a professional version but right here it's open image that we created from this point all those settings that we said they're not reading here 
again same reason but we can modify like for example you can change your upscale here factor what you need is size and for me i'm like going to refine creative because it's using we can use like high modem creativity remember you need to change those um as you're working and if you have a better idea how to pass those parameters i will be gladly to uh, implement or you can implement them but i try to this and it's just ignore them except if you're using the um the pro version and for me because i don't have pro version i created a test file for this to simulate so and it's work kind of with this but not necessarily with that and you can see right here it's different it just says export to python so it will just kick back to our applications instead same thing like before so we click this right here you can see it's run our processing and of course you select what format you want it. i said png and we can check right here if you remember okay we have it our output set png some it's will reading some of this stuff versions as well we have details high some some of the settings maybe will be read as well okay and after it's done it should tell us what place where is saving and i can just open the folder locations where it is right now located okay and right here we have it our new image generated Ooh, it's a nice beautiful image with a oops right here you can see let, let me just minimize try to put this a little bit more in a preview right here okay no not this one this one there you go okay and you can see we can multiple files i run through them kind of try different upscale and this is i like it's creative because you can see how much topaz topaz is actually <laughs> very good very fast very nice efficient application i like a lot and you can see how it does create all this beautiful grass everything and i'll give you a link down below so you can download it topaz if you don't have it by the way that link will be uh affiliate so you don't if you don't mind if you decide to purchase i will appreciate if you used my affiliate link at least i have it some kickback from this it's cost nothing to you but it's just another ways you know reward the work yeah right there and you can see it's upscale very well and it's located in a pathway as specify so let's right now look um how we can in install it how you can install it and how it's actually work because the code will be available on two places for you one will be available on a google drive from my drive you can download it from there it will be a basic version can download it and of course with every file with everything else will be on my patreon site so you can go for the members you can just download it from there and some other uh surprise notes will be there that i will show you some fun notes i will show you in the end so be sure you stay to the end because i will show you some very interesting and unexpected nodes i don't know if you can find them for configure at least i did not find anybody did that so just be sure you stay to the end to see those nodes okay uh, let's see how we need to install so for this actually if we look in our custom nodes here i have it this and this is a little bit more cleanup version you don't need all files technically you need three files but i decided to include all of them so you can see um option and if you like to program you can look on them and maybe take something reuse if you need it you know build your own stuff like for example if you want to only cli automation so you can use this if you have it pro versions or other things just make a little bit better faster work what do you need to do you need to take that zip file create the directory whatever you call topaz app scalar it's fine whatever you call the directory mostly it is need located in your comfy ui directory your custom nodes create directory and just open the zip file and put it the files right there so after this you will need to run the requirements file if you have any questions you can also just go and look in the readme file but i will show you what is inside we have and inside readme it just tell what, what it does in the hands and right here just run this command okay um it's meaning when you're going to um your files you inside the tapas directory you un open just click here type cmd it will open your terminal or command prompt 
and just copy paste this command right here pip install requirement it's all what it does if we look on the our requirements here it will install these libraries that we're going to use uh pillow nimp open cv i mean it just install only these libraries not big they're not conflicted very easy and most likely you already have them install it you just need to verify and validations don't worry about some versions if you have a newer version just just keep it new versions that you have okay so after this running right here it's have a workflow you can just take this workflow drag and drop and it will open what you saw so you can um i think i maybe still have the flux model here so you can kind of play a little bit just be sure you just change whatever is there okay let's look on the couple files here just showing what's going on um in our initializations for the nodes we all can see we have a three um module here three nodes here the, this one is almost what we're going to use at the upscaler you have it in the hands without file back if you need it it's just different and you have it also image comparison just wrote so you can preview technically you can remove all of them and just use just this one if you prefer to do that um, and also in the codes you can go check uh, let me see right here my upscaler file back right here okay and this is same all code open so you can openly see what's going on uh, we preloading checking and one nice things the code will check on locations where is it possible what you're using like photo ai or gigapixels it will look on a path of the default installation so if for some reason you have your weird configuration installation it's maybe not find them okay so it's try to look on um the default installation in this case you just need to go inside and change path where is executable file located if you're running of those files unlikely but just in case so it's a modify and the rest is just going over um the what version you have it the term and playing with some passing settings preset the mostly it will work how say on a cli some of them will work on gui but mostly it's work on cli version okay so if you decide to create from scratch you can just double time click when you install nodes you remember after you open you need to restart your server and it may be twice sometimes i notice first time it's kind of registering second so just type wofka yes i put my name because i had a hard time to find them and i just like let's put wofka and see what's here and right here you can see well i have some other stuff but you can also if you don't find there you can also search for the topaz like right there and you can see right here topaz enhance it i have a different versions um but in yours just like right there topaz app scaler just go ahead and click for example this file back and there you go and you have this node you can connect to the node and use it um it's hopefully self-explanatory info right there path it's where the saving if you need it this is in case if you decide to um reuse so what's happening you can set path specification so after it's a save it there you can install monitor and pull back that file inside the conf ui and continue doing whatever you want to do with this so this path it's kind of you need it for the continue processing if you're using other model okay yeah, I think it's kind of all what I want to show about this. It's very simple, one node working. I like it for myself, but if you want to uh, contribute it to developer, more than welcome, let me know. Well, you remember I told you I want to show you something fun, something interesting, what sometimes to do at the end. And in this, what I want to show you, it's this. It's one node. Actually, let's have it more node. I have it also wave analyzer and other things from this. But it's a smart recorder and reason why i call smart um because i'm just using one you can need it to click run to start and run to stop what it does it's take your voice it's connecting to your microphone that you can just select whatever microphone you have it and click record one two three four a chipmunk voice right here see how chipmunk it's chipmunk voice okay 
So you can set duration, or if you just click again, it will stop recording. So you can go through the button, or right here says how many seconds you want to record. And it will be going and record for you a funny distorted sound. Uh, let me go right here, and you can see, let's see what we have it. I don't know if you can hear. So, yeah, this is one with a chipmunk and a preset. You can do robot, princess, monsters, or demons, or helium. All is. It's kind of funny because uh, for me, it just changed some settings. But if you want, you can go directly. Just say none right here. Okay. Oops. So my record was off. So record on right here preset none and you can play with the speed pitch echo vibration just you know um the reason is why i was doing this i want to have it like lip sync but i want to have it funny noise uh, voices as well so okay well you know just create voice recorder where i can speak record funny voices and after with a lip sync we can do this and uh, but if you like this i have courses running i'm teaching right now online courses comfy ui um, and I will start more of them. I'll provide some link below. Those courses already kind of started. We are on a second sessions, but for the future, if you're interested in more dive, uh, dive deep in AI and Comfy UI and everything, how to do this, uh, more than welcome to join those courses. And right here, you can see you have it save, uh, save your voice, your input device. I mean, very straightforward, and it just save fun, uh, file. So this is a fun one. I have a bunch of other interesting nodes will come up. Let me know if you're interested in them because they are just pure uh, collection for myself. When I wrote it, how I say, I just create some funny things, interesting things for myself, nodes, because with Comfy UI, it is very interesting to work with nodes, how you can connect them. Well, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me thumbs up like share this video help my child grow and i greatly appreciate all your help we'll see you next time bye